All right, let's take our first live look. No, I don't want to do that. Let's take our first live look at iOS 11. Now I'm going to just bring up Control Center, as always. And what you'll notice is Control Center is now a single page, packs all the features into a single page. Now, of course, it has simple switches. I'll just do an orientation lock. It's got a beautiful little animation there for the orientation lock. It has sliders available, so you can adjust volume like this. But it provides greater depth, because with 3D Touch, 3D Touch in on a slider like this and get access to more controls. And this allows us to pack lots of capabilities really easily into the design. So you see, we have our wireless controls. Well, I could just tap on airplane mode, but if I 3D touch on the platter, I get access to even more features. And this is really great with your music, because you can operate them here or jump in for even more information. So it's a really great new control center, and I think you're really going to love it. Now, we've also taken this opportunity to redesign lock screen and notification center by making them one. So now, when I'm on my lock screen, if I unlock the device, just like that, uh, I can actually now swipe back down. I'm actually on my lock screen seeing those notifications, but I can get at all my other notifications just by scrolling up like that. It's a really great unification, and you still have access, of course, to your widgets on the left and your camera on the right. Now, let's take a look at photos, these beautiful portrait photos, but also these great live photos. And you know, live photos capture a still, but then also a bunch of video automatically captured around it, and sometimes the best shot wasn't the still. Well, now we can go into edit mode. We could trim this video if we want, but we also can capture just the frame we want and make that our key photo. Now, we can do other really fun things with live photos. Now, here's one great shot, this girl blowing a bubble. But wouldn't it be greater, great if she could just keep blowing that bubble? Well, now she can. We actually use computer vision to compute a seamless loop around this live photo. It's really fun. And we have another great effect. So here's a fun jump in the pool. But wouldn't it be better if it bounced? There it is. Now, we can really do some artistic things with live photos as well. So you see, this is a, sh a shot where we have still landscape, but then this movement in the water. Now, if you wanted to capture this kind of motion, traditionally, you'd have to get a tripod and figure out how to configure a long exposure on your high-end camera. But now, you can actually just go into the effects here and select long exposure and check it out. It's really gorgeous. Now, let's take a quick look at memories, because you see memories can now capture things like activities, like scuba diving, can spot your anniversaries, these really touching uh, memories of your children growing up, and most importantly, your pets. Let's play a movie about you know, th these pets, and what we'll see is that we play them, of course, traditionally here in landscape, which is a great way to watch video. And of course, Memories is using computer vision to actually identify photos of your pet and pick the best scenes. Now what's great is I can also rotate my phone now into portrait, and it automatically reformats to take full advantage of the height of the display. And that's a quick look at memories. Now, with memories, we're using machine learning to help learn more about you and what you're interested in by looking at your photo library. But now in iOS 11, Siri does so much more in l learning how you're using your device. So for instance, if I'm in Safari here and I'm reading about uh, Iceland, maybe I'm considering taking a, a trip there. There's uh, Reykjavik as a... Uh, Nice location. Well, now Siri actually on my device spots my interest. So when I go, let's say, into news, Siri automatically surfaces for me a recommendation that I might be interested in news about Iceland. You can just tap in and heart this one like this. And if I tap into a particular article, we can see it mentions certain locations in Iceland. 
think this one is called Snifelsness. I hope it's okay with anyone who speak, speaks Icelandic. Uh, but what's great is now Siri is learning this vocabulary. He knows it might be something I'm going to use in my communication in the future. So when I go into messages and start typing a message, and let's say I start typing Reykjavik, well, check it out. It learns that Reykjavik is probably a word I might type. And what about, there it is, Snifelsness. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Now, let's take a look at stickers, because you notice now, right on the bottom of the display, we have access to all my sticker packs. I can tap in on the bottom here to my Star Wars sticker pack, I can tap and slide, say select music, and we now have Apple Pay right here as a messages app. But what's so cool is if I receive a message saying that I owe someone money, well, you notice the QuickType keyboard automatically surfaces Apple Pay as an option and picks the amount out as what I might want to pay. I can just tap the pay button, send, and authenticate with my fingerprint, and just like that, I've paid with Apple Pay. And that is a quick demo of iOS 11. <laughs>